Well, Sam, final game of 2017. And when you look back on this year in particular, it's been a great year for you, a real breakthrough year. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, I'm full time now uh, with Exeter Chiefs here, and I've left the university behind me. And it's just enjoyable to give it a, a full crack, really, and put all my eggs into one basket. What's it like being called a Premiership player and, and playing at the Champions? Yeah, obviously, it's nice. Um, it's awesome to be part of this team, really. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're confident at the minute and we're, and we're enjoying playing good rugby. And you come into this final game of the year on, on good form, a really good win at Northampton, and uh, lots of plaudits for you after that game. Yeah, we're really pleased with how we went as a team against Northampton. You know, historically we struggled up there, um, and we put in a good, genuinely good performance. So happy with that. But we've got to park it now. Uh, massive game at home to finish the season, finish the year with Leicester, um, and you know they'll be gunning for us. So looking forward to it. Everyone's been talking about that game earlier in the season. It's probably one where the boys weren't quite on their metal. I mean, yeah, looking back on it, we were disappointed with the loss, as, as you'd expect. Um, but we're looking forward to this weekend, getting another crack at them. Um, and, you know, hopefully a sellout crowd here will be a good atmosphere. Obviously, home factor, it's been key for the Chiefs for a long, long time. I think Bath, over a year ago now, won here. So you, you pride yourself here, especially. Yeah, we, we really enjoy playing at home. Obviously, the support is awesome here. Um, and, you know, it's part and parcel of coming here we try and make it as tough and tough as possible for sides um, so it'll be a great occasion and really looking forward to it Leicester not on the best of forms but you just look at their side and you know they're going to be a force this weekend yeah I, I don't think we look at their form too much they're a quality side they've got quality individuals across the board um, and I think they'll be looking towards this game as a, as a massive opportunity for them to kind of do the double on us and obviously we're going to try and make sure that doesn't happen 10 points clear and whatever happens you'll be top of the league going into 2018 but What's the target for the new year for you guys? Uh, we, we always look at it in kind of short-term little blocks sort of thing, so it's as cliche as it sounds, take each game at a time, but um, it's to kind of keep the confidence high uh, and then and then keep the, keep the good quality rugby going, really. And as a local lad, does it mean a little bit more? You know, you're, you're playing for your local team and you can't be in a better place, I don't I think, I think so, naturally it does, doesn't it? I remember coming here supporting the side um, and watching the guys even from the championships, so I think there's always a little bit of that factor in it. Um, it's nice for my family as well. Um, but ultimately, it's kind of a professional game. You, you do put that aside, really, and, and focus on the performance at hand each, each time. Highlights for you over the past year, what, what's really stood out, Sam? Obviously, the winning, I wasn't playing myself, but watching the boys win the Premiership final was probably the biggest highlight. Um, and just, just, just being part of the team throughout the year really has been some great moments, obviously some tough tough patches, but um, overall very very happy with how it's gone. I know when we've spoken in the past you've talked about the influence of not only the coaches but fellow players, something like Jeff Parling did a lot of work with you, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Um, I've learned a lot from him, from his line at calling and previous to that, Dean Mum obviously. Um, so it's just kind of trying to implement what I've been taught in the past and kind of play in my own way as well and enjoy doing it really. You can say it's quiet here now but come Sunday this is going to be packed to the rafters, it's going to be quite an occasion, quite an atmosphere. Yeah, I can't wait to be honest, um, you know New Year's Eve game, a massive occasion, uh, big clash, big game, um, so it should be a, it should be a real, real good fight. And finally you would have done your homework on Leicester, we know they're notoriously strong up front but threats all over the park I'd imagine. Yeah, they've got a hell of a back line um, and they're a very tough and physical side, so we've got to match them that and kind of go one step further, really, um, in order to, to play the way we can play. Um, but they'll make it very, very difficult, I'm sure.